Hey everyone, winter is coming. Well, it kind of is. It's not here yet. It is awesome though. That means it has started to rain on a regular occurrence here in Scotland. That summer we had with the amazing sun. Yeah, that's ancient history now. It's back to business. Hence why I'm in the noisiest place in Glasgow. This is the wet weather riding spot. It is spitting with rain, just like the forecast predicted. So yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. The reason why this is the noisiest place in Glasgow, or one of them, is we've got a busy road there, we've got a busy road there, and up here, we have the M8 motorway. So pretty much we have traffic in every direction, which is less than ideal. I do have an experimental mic setup, which I might try. It's a little bit on the bulky side. It's more suited to mountain biking, where you just press it once, then it's on for a while, rather than the stop-start. Uh, which is the normal type of foaming we do for street trials. Plus, I'm, I've no idea if it actually works, so go through the effort of trying it out, stopping, starting, recording on multiple uh, cameras and audio equipment. I'm not sure if it's really worth the effort today, but you never know, I might give it a try. I'll tell you what though, I miss that Italian weather. <laughs> that was like 30 degrees and amazing. I uh, just flew back to Scotland straight into Storm Alley, which is awesome to have a storm named after me, but not when it's actually pretty devastating, knocking trees down and killing people. So that kind of sucked. Uh, shall I move? Nah, I still like Scotland. It's pretty rad here. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna probably film mostly on a static camera. Without a cameraman, you know, it's hard to get some dynamic moving shots. So I've got my big tripod, I'm gonna set the camera down and actually see what I can come up with in this location. There's not massive stuff here, so I'm gonna to have to come up with my imagination, which is where I might have a little bit of difficulty. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. All right, guys, before I get started, I just thought I'd show you the mic setup that I've got. Essentially, it's one of these Removu mics. It's a Bluetooth mic, which attaches to a GoPro Hero 4. Now, it's actually this block at the back, which is the unit, and yeah, it's just a Bluetooth mic setup. The advantage being this is waterproof, I don't have any cables attached to my helmet and I can record it onto an SD card rather than going onto my phone which I then have to go and download via Dropbox, transfer, so this is slightly bulkier but I don't have any wires and it's waterproof and it's easier to transfer the files. Now whether or not the size of this thing is going to be an issue bouncing about, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try and actually let's just, let's just turn it on see how it goes. Okay, so that's everything switched on. Let's start recording and see how this sounds. Any good? Much better? Soon find out if it actually, you can pick up any of the rubbing on my clothes, which I find you, happens quite a lot with other mics I've tried. So yeah, let's give this a try. Cool. Well, I've just found this spot here. I reckon some kind of manual to blunt, to backwards manual, something like that would be pretty cool. But to be honest with you, I'm just going to have a play and just see what I can come up with. My eyes just get so watered up so easily. It's not even windy today. Can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Thought it was going to be kind of the one then. Backwards manual ever. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making this stuff up as I go along. And the thing with this mic is I have no idea if this sound's gonna be any good until I get to the editing process. So yeah, fingers crossed it's actually working.
All right, let's one up this line. Let's start over there. Come along 180 front pivot, bunny hop over to backwards manual to something. Yeah, I've not, I don't know. Come on imagination, work for me. Oh, what am I thinking? 180 pivot over this. It's got a flipping horrible channel in it. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, I can make that work. Who do you work for? Number two. Oh. Right in the channel. Yeah, not what I want. But I'm actually hitting my face on the mic, so I'm gonna move him over here. Oh, where can I put this mic where it's not gonna flap about? Okay, let's try that. Oh, close. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, this is hard. Ah. I have no idea where I can put this where it's not going to be in the way. No, wait, in fact, I do have one idea. Let's give this a try. The one thing these uh, mics come with is a GoPro attachment and on the back of my helmet I've got a couple of attachments here so if I move that forward I can fit this in the back and that should hopefully sort my issues. Kind of looks a bit funky <laughs> but we'll see if this works. I try to do a double hop on it. That'd be awesome. Wish I could fit through this better. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Oh, I'm into the gravel. <laughs> Damn it. Having that channel in the middle, that makes it so much harder because that is exactly where I'd normally aim my front wheel. Whereas now it's pretty much I have to aim my front wheel on effectively just a, a slightly wider rail. Yeah, pretty hard. Yes, come on. Oh, <laughs> I thought the curb was a lot closer than that. I'm going to have to end up doing it bad foot forward or something. No! Yes, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh that felt so controlled oh, until it wasn't. Yes, come on. <laughs> oh, that was going to be the one. Why does it have to be that you end up have to go forward? Oh, come on. That's getting pretty slippy now as well. Adding dampness onto it every time. Almost the one. Oh, keep going, I suppose. Ah, oh, there's a car coming. Oh, come on, give me a break. Yes, come on. Oh, we've got two hops over here. 
does that count? It's going to be like that rail all over again where I say, oh, I've given myself three strikes. It's more like 300 strikes. All right, time to get serious. The sleeves are getting rolled up and I think I'm going to have to release the power of the lollipop cat. Oh yeah. Complete with rip. What sucks. Oh, oh, oh. First try, first try. Come on. Oh, <laughs> the power of the lollipop cat. Seriously, never underestimate the power of the lollipop cat. This guy gets stuff done. Boy. Ah, I'd be pretty pleased with that. I see a lot of people do like manuals to backwards manuals then when they get to the stop point they do a few hops and then go it's like it's not that much harder just to try and get it with no hops but it looks so much better anyway that's enough of that I actually wanted to do that because I wanted to warm up I've seen something here that looks quite scary like I said there's not that much here so I'm trying to use my imagination to see what's lying around and I've seen this thing we've got the curb there yeah point on the right thing We've got this road gap I reckon I can get enough speed and maybe try and quick hop that uh, curb there and then bunny hop the entire gap so uh, uh, if I can get enough speed uh, should go but if I don't this is going to be a good test for the carbon rims coming up short mm. anyway where should I put this camera well you can't really see the run up I'm going to be pretty small on the frame but at least you can see the whole gap here if it goes okay then perhaps I can try double angle but uh, let's give it a shot Gonna have this flapping in the back like a cape. There's actually plenty of run up here. Oh, that's gonna be such a shot on off for this. Ah. I reckon that'll go pretty fine. Famous last words. See, if I was Chris Kyle or someone good, I'd probably 360 this, but I'm not. So I'm up to <laughs> Suddenly that's got a lot bigger. I actually think I'm going to struggle with speed for this. I'm going to have to tuck like a mofo. Oh. Come on legs, I need some uh, sprinting power today. God, let's give this a, a really good go. Oh. <laughs> got it. No style points. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, got it. No style points going on there. But I reckon I'm comfortable enough to give that a double angle. Uh, let's get a bit arty. Let's get one of the run up. Go, 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 go. Come on, where's my tuck gone? I'm actually really glad you guys didn't get to see that properly. That was like just a pure front high pencil hop. Come on, I need to get I need to get one stylish one. Got sprint, 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 sprint. <laughs> Alright, in the search for more style, I actually didn't get as much distance. I only just made that. Probably stopping pedaling like two meters before the curb didn't help, but I'm quite happy with that. Oh, my heart. All right, some of you, well, hopefully most of you, will recognize this from my last uh, video here. It's actually been fixed since last time, so obviously it's not as sloped. But I had a few people ask me how much easier this would be on a Charles bike than the full sus bike. And I intend to at least give that a try today, see if it is any easier on the Charles bike. I actually think it's not going to be that much easier, even though the mountain bike is bigger, it's heavier, uh, it's got suspension. The tyres are a lot grippier and suspension is a little bit forgiving sometimes like you don't get bounced off so when you land on it you're actually more likely to stay on it whereas the trials bike is a bit skittier you're more likely to get bounced off if you don't quite make the right movement so and also not being sloped down is going to make it a little bit harder as well but I'm going to give it a try if I get across it I'll be absolutely stoked 
Okay, so once again, I am a glutton for punishment. This took me over 300 tries last time. Let's see if we're gonna improve that today. Oh, is this gonna be? No, <laughs> that was almost first try. If I get this in the next couple of tries, I'll be one happy guy. The really annoying thing is that rail gets wobblier towards the end, so that's going to be the hard thing to overcome. Got second try. Whoop, bit of wind. Whoop. Balance there. Come on, get this. Ah, oh, back to usual. The issue with this wind is any rain that comes in is going to get blown onto the rail and then it's pretty much game over. Oh, come on. Completely just not. I was thinking about microphones. <laughs> uh, concentrate, Ali. Concentrate. <laughs> that was gee. <laughs> I was so expecting my back tire just to pop off the end of that rail then. You see that little correction hop I did? I was fully expecting to eat crap and literally land on my back on the rail. <sighs> but I didn't, I got across it. Yes, it is easier on a trials bike. Who would have thought it? Cool, well there's actually probably a few more things I want to film here but I remember last time I came I think I filmed most stuff here whereas actually there's still all that stuff over there so I'm going to nip over the road and see what I can find on that side. Actually you know what I remember now I did come film over this side. The memories are coming flooding back of me crashing super hard on that one and actually really hurting my wrist for like weeks afterwards. Ah uh, yeah. So um, I need to find some stuff over this side that's not going to kill me. <laughs> Uh, I reckon I'm just going to set the camera up. I've got a few things I want to try on this setup. Whether or not I'll actually be able to land any of them is yet to be seen. Uh, but I may as well give them a try. Okay, I found one disadvantage of this mic setup is, um, yeah, I've got more batteries to charge and more batteries to remember to look at. Uh, so yeah, the battery for my Hero 4, which I'm using for my audio, uh, ran out. So I have no idea whether the audio is even usable, so it may not affect the video at all, but annoyingly, yeah, that last bit of audio may not have been as good. Uh, I still don't think I found the perfect setup. I've seen the Pink Bike EWS uh, stage preview videos. Uh, they have those guys going down riding the bikes. They've got amazing audio. If you guys know what they're using, let me know because I want to. I want to find out. Even details like where they have the mic. Because when I was in Italy, I placed my mic on there. I placed it on my visor and a place that doesn't even move. I'll rub against anything, and the audio was still. Like, like you can pick up all the movement from it. I don't know where you can put it that has good audio. The only place I found was on the downhill bike where I could put it on the chin guard really solidly and that was actually really good audio. But other than that, uh, I, I just cannot find a good system. 
one thing I do need to try with this setup is because I can attach it with a GoPro mount, it means I can also attach it to my handlebars, which might work quite well. So maybe next time, because I actually forgot to bring my handlebar mount, which is classic. So on the mountain bike, I might try that, see how that works. <laughs> um, I'll take that. Right, instead of all that spinning nonsense, uh, I, I want to try to get up that. Duncan has already kindly left a bit of a kicker, but uh, I reckon that's uh, cheating just a little bit too much. Let's, let's make this a little bit harder. I'm hoping my wet tyres will dry out and I'll be able to get up this. My ultimate goal is I'd love to be able to get up this with no kicker, so that's probably like another fist higher <laughs> than I've ever managed, so yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, let's just try this kicker, see how that goes. I just rode over a horrible bit of metal then. I thought I was gonna get tangled up in my wheels. Get away. Uh, nowhere near. Have I extinguished all my skill today? Yeah, I think I've extinguished all my skill today. Is this even work? No. Close. There we go. I reckon that'll all be the difference. That was all the difference. Oh, wind. And it just seems so close to being doable. I reckon it would need that technique, that Frenchy where you hit your front wheel against it that sends you up. But again, I've never done anything this high. So I'm probably, if I can even make myself try this, it's probably just gonna be like one attempt. I'll get nowhere near it. And then I'll have to think of something else to do. So yeah, let's see how successfully this goes. Yeah, that was kind of nowhere near. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on, I'm not getting anywhere. Just, uh, I'm actually lost for words because I am, like the technique is nowhere near what I need to be. Like that's the equivalent of trying to back wheel. If I'm only just getting my bass guard in there, that's like I'm only just back wheeling something like that high. Yeah. See, that one's easy. How can the height difference between that and that be that much different? Oh. oh, okay. That's an improvement, but pretty much what I thought. I knew I could get my back tire up there, but then it's just a case of jumping your whole body weight up as well, and that makes it a lot harder. I'm actually quite happy I can get my back wheel up high. That means that's in the realm of possibility of uh, being able to do it if I practice. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if that's on today. A bit tired for that. I'm too unfit. I need to start getting to the gym. But keep an eye out for that in the future because I reckon if I get to the gym, get strong, do some squats, I reckon I could get up that. Huh. Small victories and all that. All right, everyone, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Even though I didn't actually get up that box, I'm going to see that as a victory, and I'm going to end the vlog there. Before I do, though, have you guys seen Chris Kyles' last video that he did where he brought that mini kicker out into town? He got up this thing, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is massive. Yeah, you have the kicker down here, and his tyre marks are up there. That is so high. And if you haven't seen his video, go check it out. I'll put a link down below. It is flipping awesome.
But yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I uh, managed a few things I'm pleased with, but the light is getting to the point where it's so grey and murky and under the bridge, the light's so dark, I'm actually really struggling to uh, see properly. My eyesight is so bad, I'm so short-sighted that when the light gets really bad, I can't do any depth perception so I can't actually see where anything is so that's my excuse I'm sticking with it so I'm gonna head home hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know if you want more of this kind of stuff um, and yeah be fluent ride fluent I'll catch you all next time so take care everyone bye bye